Today, let us talk about Liberia. Liberia is a country in West Africa, and it borders three countries, Sierra Leone, Guinea, and Cote d'Ivoire. It borders the Atlantic Ocean in the south, and is fortified on all sides by mountains and rivers. These features that surround it keep swamps and forests in, making it a good place for a nation. It is rich in natural resources such as iron, diamonds, gold, and fish. Liberia during the Age of Exploration was known as the Pepper Coast because of its high pepper abundance. The Portuguese made contact in 1462, calling the area Liberia. The Dutch attempted to make a trading post in 1663, however it was destroyed soon after. The British also tried, making some trading posts, and afterwards no more Europeans colonized afterwards. The year is 1800, and Americans are trying to figure out what to do with freed slaves. They were being discriminated against in the northern states and were under severe restrictions. People like Paul Cook suggested returning the blacks to the homeland of Africa was the best option. These colonial ideals came long before then, even as early as the Revolutionary Era. People like Thomas Jefferson supported this idea. In 1816, Paul Cook transported 38 free blacks to Freetown. This endeavor increased the publicity of this idea. Prior to this in 1815, Paul Cuff attempted to make a settlement on Cherboro Island off the coast of Sierra Leone, but it failed, leading to them escaping to Freetown. In 1816, the ACS, or American Colonization Society, was founded. Their goal? To relocate free blacks to Africa. With some help from Robert Stockton and Eli Aries, they decided to meet with local readers in Cape Maserato. The Ducor contract was signed in 1821 by multiple chiefs, giving them access to Cape Maserato. After this contract was signed, a settlement called Perseverance was made on Dozoa Island, leading to thousands of free blacks in arriving to that settlement. Some of the survivors of the failed Sherboro Island settlement arrived here for safety. Chehudi Ashmun became the representative of the new colony, pronouncing the settlement a colony in 1822, shortly after the people landed. The colony on Cape Maserato came into problems with the native Malinke tribe, who kept attacking their settlement. They also succumbed to the lack of basic resources such as food and water, and tropical diseases leading to 60% of the blacks who immigrated to die by 1843. Despite all of these factors that would make a company want to stop the colony entirely, they still sent more people. In 1824, after suspected unfair rationing, Yehudi Ashmun fled the colony. This drama led the ACS to formalize a government and a law code. It was forbidden from the slave trade. The settlement was renamed to Monrovia after President Monroe, and James Monroe called the overall colony Liberia. In the meanwhile, some New York Quakers made some colonies in 1825 around the modern city of Buchanan. Many slave states made their own colonial organizations, leading to five more colonies from Pennsylvania, Mississippi, Louisiana, Virginia, and Maryland over the course of the next 10 years. Some of these settlements would be overrun by natives, such as Virginia's colony. In 1838, the Cape Maserato colony, the Quaker colonies, and Pennsylvania's colony merged to form the Commonwealth of Liberia, with Joseph Jenkins Roberts as his governor. More and more colonies joined over the coming years. Many people disliked the idea of colonization to solve their slave problem. Many important people, such as Frederick Douglass, did not support the idea. Many thought emancipation was much better than sending them off to their homeland. The ACS's mission of sending free slaves to Liberia to solve their slavery problem was extremely ineffective, as of the two million slaves in America, only 3,000 ever made it to Liberia. Finally, on July 26, 1847, all of the colonies except Maryland gained their independence from America as the Commonwealth of Liberia. It had an American-based constitution and was the second slave state to gain independence. The rule was handed over to the America-Liberians, who we will talk about in this next part of the three-part series.